I'm back again here to give you some tidbits about the posture of prayer. When you get up in the morning, what is your routine? Do you have a routine that sets your day? I'll tell you some of the things I like to do that helps calm my day, especially if I got a lot of things that are going on and I feel a little frazzled and overwhelmed. I take a moment and I sit in my chair in my living room. I have a bay window and I watch the sunrise and I'm just sitting there quietly, just focusing on the beauty of nature that God created, which is so awesome to see a sunrise and see the beautiful day unfold. And I commit that day to the Lord and I say, order my steps. Father, guide me in the ways that you would have me to go today. Not my plans, but your plans. Let them go in, in uh, order with you. So I was thinking about some of my notes I wrote down before. I am also a praise and worship leader. If you don't know what that means, we lead worship in Sunday in the churches on Wednesday, whenever they have us singing. I may sing two or three songs before the message is given and uh, with a group of people. So I just wanted to um, admonish you and encourage you to sit quietly, listen to what the voice of the Lord is saying to you, and that real still quiet voice, that's Him talking to you. And then I want you to write down what He's saying. And then I want you to exalt Him. You know what exalt is? Lord, I bless you. I give you glory. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for making me who, who I am today. Thank you for keeping me from danger. Thank you for bringing me out of those addictions. Thank you for bringing me out of abuse. That's my story, abuse. Thank you, Lord, for lifting me up out of my self-pity, not loving myself, learning that you created me and you are the author of love. So who am I not to love myself? So I've learned to love myself. And when I love myself, I can love others. And then I will also, I would give him praise. I've just talked about that. And I'm so thankful. Find things to be thankful for. If you write down all the things you can be thankful for in next to all of the things you're complaining about, you'll find out that that list gets longer and longer and it's so much better. And then I want to also encourage you to um, surround yourself with people who do, who are positive, who are going somewhere, someone who, people who are where you would like to go or like to be. Don't surround yourself with people who are pulling you down, people who are negative, people who always uh, have a bad attitude, have a bad day every day. Have you ever met somebody that every day is a bad day? There's something for them to be complaining about or be sad about. There's never a smile on their face. You don't want to hang around those people. Surround yourself with people who will lift you up. So, and the other thing, find songs that are positive, songs that are edifying, songs that talk about our worth, songs that talk about our value. Uh, some of the artists that I love is Lauren Diego, You Say. Look Up Child, uh, my own songs, I'm Somebody, um, I Am a Woman of Worth, so many things. There's books that you can read, that um, self-help books. Um, there's a book on how to win over worry. There's another book, Your Erroneous Zone, I believe that's the name of it. Things like that. Read books that lift you up, books that help you out of your uh, dark space and place. I used to be depressed a long time ago and once I got out of that dark hole I said I will never go back and then you know how I make sure that happens I always find something good and when I find myself um, what is it sinking I find something to pull me out before I even get there I turn it around you are in control of your thoughts you are in control of what you say you are what you say and then also 
I would um, make sure I listen to messages, Bible messages. There's people like who's that? Um, to, uh, Steve Harvey. They they give all of these um, positive and affirming sound bites every day that causes you to reach for the gold. He says, take a leap. That means jump out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. Take a step towards your dream. Dream big. If your dream is is big enough for you to handle, then you're not dreaming big enough. Dream big. Dream beyond your expectations. And then walk, talk, start taking steps towards that. And watch. You, you look, you, next thing you know, you look back and say, how did I get that far? You're taking one step at a time. And you're believing. Write down your vision. Make it plain. Write down your plans. Write down your aspirations. You want to go to school. You want to go to college. You want to better yourself. There's so many classes you can take don't cost a lot of money. All it is is a few dollars. And you go to the community classes. YouTube have so many things that can help you. Women that have children. There's so many things that can engage you and your children. And you will find some relief. And they will be have some ex exercise and moving around. Dancing. All of these things. I've said these things before. I just have to reiterate them. Keep reinforcing it. These are the things that help us through our hardest times. These are the things that help us through the times that we think it's impossible. With man, things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. If you believe. So I encourage you to take heart. I encourage you to believe the things. Reach for the gold. Reach for the stars. And never look back. Forward always. Backwards never. I know that you can do it. I'm counting on you. We are going to win together. Have a fabulous day.